गुड मॉर्निंग सलाम नमस्ते सत्या वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आज का वीडियो थोड़ा सा सस्पेंस थ्रिल एक्साइटिंग होने वाला है वी आर गोइंग टू सी यस थियोरीज वन ऑफ द वीडियोस यस थियोरी रिस्क लेके उन कंट्रीज में जाते हैं जो के अबेंडेंट हैं जो के बहुत रिस्की हैं मतलब एक आम इंसान के लिए जाना बहुत मुश्किल है वहाँ पर और इस दफ़ा का उनका विजिट था अफगानिस्तान का और अफगानिस्तान में आपको पता है पहले वार रही है रशिया वार लगी रही है फिर उसके बाद तालिबान ने आके बहुत ज़्यादा खराब किया था फिर उसके बाद अमेरिका का इन्वेजन हो गया अमेरिका ने आके तालिबान के साथ वॉर करनी शुरू कर दी तो बहुत कुछ हुआ अफगानिस्तान में विच इज़ नॉट स्टेबल येट अभी भी मैं बहुत कुछ सुनती हूँ कि बम्बारमेंट हो रही है और किडनेपिंग हो रही है द कंट्री इज़ नॉट सेफ टू ट्रैवल लेकिन थॉमस हैव बिन देयर फॉर 96 सिक्स आवर्स तो देखते हैं थॉमस का एक्सपीरियंस कैसा रहा आगे बढ़ने से पहले अगर आप सब नए हो मेरे चैनल पे तो स्वागत है आप सबका मेरे चैनल को अभी सब्सक्राइब कर लो बेल आइकन को क्लिक कर लो ताकि जैसे ही मेरा वीडियो अपलोड हो तुरंत से आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाए और इस वीडियो के एंड में मैं अपना ओपिनियन भी दूंगी इनके बारे में कि इनका विजन कैसा था क्यों था क्यों किया इन्होंने और वीडियो का लिंक भी मैं नीचे दे दूंगी अगर आपने वीडियो इनका देखना है तो आप इनके अपने चैनल पे जाके देखिए और लेट्स डाइव इनटू द वीडियो आई एम अबाउट टू फ्लाई टू वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डेंजरस कंट्रीज इन द वर्ल्ड As a storyteller, I'm interested in people and places that can defy our previous assumptions, make us expand our perspective and expose our limited world view. Throughout my experiences over the past few years, I've learned that nothing is black and white. Nothing is as simple as we'd like it to be. Instead, everything is more like various shades of gray. There's good and evil everywhere, which is why I decided to visit a country I never thought I'd see in my life. Afghanistan. Beautiful. Afghanistan has been in a continuous war since the Soviet invasion in 1979, which eventually 9 years later as the war ended led to a civil war for power between militia groups and over time the gruesome control of the country by the Taliban. The final and current chapter is one we're all more familiar with, the US invasion in 2001. The United States military has yeah. begun strikes in Afghanistan. which unfortunately after 19 years still hasn't fully ridden the country of terrorist groups the complexity of the political situation has unfortunately given afghanistan a bad reputation around the world mm. hiding its immensely rich and beautiful culture yeah. from all of our eyes and Ooh. today i'm hoping to change that but this doesn't take away from the fact that i am flying to a country that is still incredibly dangerous Foreigners get kidnapped for ransoms. Random bombings happen throughout the country every week, if not every day. And having a local guide who understands where civil limits end and where Taliban borders begin is absolutely imperative. Luckily, I'll be going with my friend Drew Binsky, a fellow content creator who has the goal to visit every country and is currently at 190. He's been to Afghanistan before with his incredible guide Noor, who's taken over 500 tourists to visit his country he's so incredibly proud of. This is definitely the most uncertain and dangerous trip I've ever signed up for. 96 hours in the most dangerous country. The trip to the most dangerous country in the world, supposedly, is about to begin. I'm feeling very, very nervous. I woke up to a lot of missed calls from family trying to persuade me not to go. Oh. For now, though, time to catch this flight in the middle of the night. <laughs> uh, Dubai Airport. I can't I see another uh, white person Look around at, at the moment. <laughs> On the bus ride over here, I looked down and I remembered that I was wearing love over fear. And I uh, took a moment to think about what does that mean in this moment. I feel like this trip fully embodies fear. You Google Afghanistan and all you see is explosions. is terror is misery and on top of that i have never had this much backlash on any trip 
that I've ever done. So it's not just fear in the news, it's also fear from people around me and then obviously fear within myself. Mm. I can sense my own ignorance already because I'm afraid. I'm sitting here and I feel completely different from all of these people. And so for me in this moment, love over fear means surrendering to the truth that humanity is inherently good. There's any time in the past when I've truly followed my gut and chosen love over fear, it's turned out to be the greatest decision Aww. I've ever made. Especially when fear is particularly loud. High. Especially when the risk is high. My heart is beating fast as the aeroplane is coming down. Well, taking my first steps in the country right, of Afghanistan. So far, everybody's just been incredibly nice. Many people asked to make sure that I have somebody here to take care of me and that I'm not mm. fully on my own. It's the most people that have ever talked to me yep. on a flight before. Dude, how are you? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> welcome to Afghanistan, man. What are we doing it's right a now? Relief. Oh my god, <laughs> look at your outfit. You made it. How are you? <laughs> I'm Thomas. This is Noor. Great to meet you, yeah, Noor. Very, very welcome to Afghanistan. Oh my god, yeah. thank you so much for, for having me. <laughs> oh. Looks so tired. <laughs> Yeah, On this so four day cute. trip, we're going to spend the majority of it in the historical city located in the western part of the country, Herat. It's, it's a landscape and a place Herat. that I genuinely never thought I would see in my lifetime. So to actually be here and, and see it, I, uh, I can't wait. Out of all the countries in the world, man, like this one is the most, I guess the word I'll use is surreal to be here because you hear about Afghanistan on the news hear about these bombings. There was a bombing yesterday in Kabul. A lot of them don't even make the news anymore because it's happening so often. And as we speak, the Taliban is controlling about 50% of Afghanistan. It's pretty scary. There's only, s how many provinces are open? Six? Uh, yeah, six to seven so provinces for now. Out of, out of how many? Uh, out of 34. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. In here, uh, oh we don't God. really have like, uh, like too much Taliban and stuff like that, but we, we have like some random Thieves, some kidnappings when you like go quite away from the city center. How far away? Like probably like four to five kilometers. Four kilometers away. Yeah. Only. Oh wow. It's a big gate at the entrance of our hotel. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a place. Amazing. Wow. Stan hotel. Beautiful. Oh. Look at our hotel in Herat. Jungle me mangal. Thank you. Beautiful. Wow. What are we doing now? All right, I got your traditional Afghan outfit here, and a matching blue turban for you. <laughs> Amazing. Let's get you all dressed. This is step number one of blending in, right? <laughs> How do I not rip? This? Yeah. Sometimes have to get it on. <laughs> to blend in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! This is a daily outfit. Yeah. You'll get used to it, don't worry. It's really comfortable when you start wearing it. <laughs> Blending in. Nah, look. All done? <laughs> Whoa! 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 Wow! How do you feel, man? Oh, that is not what gosh, I was expecting. Looks That's so amazing. Handsome. It's amazing, right? Just... Wow! <laughs> you look more active than me. <laughs> 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 Wow, look at the swag! This is a bulletproof door. Oh, really? Oh, wow. First. It's Thank a bulletproof it's the, door. Not the official moment yet. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. So beautiful. Amazing.
Well, we are now actually stepping inside of the mosque. Beautifully. Dude. It is much bigger than I <laughs> expected. It's like Shahi Mosque. Shahi Masjid, India and Pakistan. Yeah. Beautiful. They look so amazing. <laughs> like I didn't grow up particularly religious, but when you're here and you have those shared experiences with people, it feels like the pinnacle of what the point of religion is, which is just connection and love and like caring for each other. Looking at someone in the eyes that has a completely different life than yours and speaks a completely different language uh, and having a connection. Those are the times where you have like a shared moment of humanity that yes. like transcend culture, <clears throat> transcends borders, mm. transcends language, it transcends belief. It's yeah. just like, hey, I have no idea what you have been through and it's definitely completely different mm, right. from what I've been through. Uh, but maybe that's a part of what contributes to us having like a moment of friendship, even though we yeah. can't even communicate with each other. Right. I feel like we've had a few of those experiences here as well, where you're like just connecting mm. human to human and that's it and you're Absolutely just fully present right. with each other. You don't understand each other, right. but it doesn't really seem to matter because you're with each other. Beautiful. Beautiful. This citadel serves as a reminder of Afghanistan's deep roots and its impact on the world. Oh. There are some military choppers flying above us right now. It's a clear reminder that even though we're here in this peaceful citadel, we are still in mm. Afghanistan. And that's a reminder you get quite often as you drive around or walk around the streets with all the heavy military presence pretty much everywhere. We're not able to film any military because if you get caught doing that, it can mm. be some serious issues. So the caretaker of this citadel is opening the doors for us and taking us around. He just told us he likes our outfits. Everywhere you go, when you meet someone, they'll offer you tea. Yeah, without offering tea, it's like mm. they miss something. Like they don't feel comfortable. He's offered us three times, so we finally <laughs> took it off. finally took it off. No, it's safe, 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 safe. Shukar kam kamojo. Shukar kam kamojo. I'm really curious to know what his experience was like when the Taliban took over Herat. He says like the unhappiest experience ever. When uh, a young boy had like a nice haircut or something, they made you go and shave your head. If, if someone like were trimming their beard, they put him in prison and told the beard regrow and then they would let him go out. For example, the women, they couldn't came out by themselves. The women were not allowed to go to school. If you were caught like stealing, they were chopping the hat. I myself, I saw hands hanged on the tree in a square in Mazar Sharif. Are both you and him worried that once the US troops leave that the Taliban are gonna take over the country? Everyone is worried about mm. that. Now even now almost they are controlling like 60-70% of the country. Like anywhere, just outside of the city you cannot go. Is there Stuff distrust like amongst people because you don't know who's who collaborates with them and who doesn't? Yes. Local mm. people looks like Taliban. <coughs> Taliban no, also yeah. looks like local people. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for sharing. Thank you so much. <laughs> what are we doing right now? <laughs> Afghanistan's bag! <laughs> Even though I only had four days, Afghanistan was truly the most impactful country I've ever visited. It might not show at the start of the video, but while boarding that first flight, I almost had a panic attack mm. out of fear, basically questioning every decision I'd ever made up until this point. But deep inside, mm. I knew my gut was telling me to go. 
because I think today more than ever, the world needs positive stories that bring us together. I'd never felt so welcomed before. People were so incredibly friendly and I'm excited to hopefully come back one day and see more. As you heard, there are obviously lots of challenges this country mm. is still facing. After my COVID test the day before leaving and the day after when I landed in Dubai, I made it out of Afghanistan safe and sound and COVID free. I've been home now Good. for the past two weeks like I'd originally intended and have been so grateful for the eye-opening trip this was. I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and we'll see you next week. So, friends, you have seen how video was so suspense. I mean, I was standing up and I was standing up. You know, it was like, what is he doing? What is he going into? And as they said that love over fear. There are two things that mix in Afghanistan. There is love and fear. There is also normal life. And there is also the army choppers flying in the army. और जैसा कि उन्होंने कहा कि अगर इन्होंने हमें देख लिया अभी इस वक्त वीडियो बनाते हुए आर्मी ने तो दे विल बी सम काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स और इनके दोस्त ने ये भी कहा कि अभी कल ही यहाँ पे बम्बारमेंट्स हुए थे लेकिन बम्बारमेंट्स इतनी हो जाती हैं कि समटाइम्स उसकी न्यूज़ ही नहीं बनती है और इवन गोइंग आउट ऑफ दैट सिटी फॉर फोर फाइव किलोमीटर्स किडनेपिंग हैपन्स आई मीन Kidnapping is so high level that only going out of 4-5 kilometers, I mean not even one mile, 4-5 kilometers, you will be kidnapped. So it was a risky to going to that trip. And what I thought was very good, they said that I don't know what these people are doing, where are they coming from, they don't know where they are coming from, where are they coming from, where are they coming from, where are they coming from. But when we sat and put our eyes on the other eyes, we got to know that we are one person, we are one person. हमारे दरमियान कुछ डिफरेंस नहीं है हमारे दरमियान में सिर्फ लव है और ह्यूमैनिटी है और यही मैं सबसे कहना चाहती हूँ कि एक दूसरे को ह्यूमन बीइंग की तरह से ट्रीट करें आप एक दूसरे को जब पूछते हैं कि आप कहाँ से हो तो यू स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग दी बाउंड्रीज विच आई डोंट लाइक मुझे बहुत सारे लोग पूछते हैं कि मैं कहाँ से हूँ आई डोंट लाइक दिस क्वेश्चन जस्ट ट्रीट मी एज एमन बींग और किसी भी कंट्री में जाने से पहले मेक श्योर कि यू नो सम वन देयर Who knows the country very well? कभी भी किसी country में आप blindly मर जाएं, guide के ऊपर depend करते हैं वे नहीं। आप जाएं, जब आपको पता हो कि हाँ, you know someone there who knows the city very well and you're gonna stay with that person. और बस दोस्तों आज के लिए इतना ही है। I am sure कि आपको आज का video अच्छा लगा होगा, अच्छा लगा है तो like पे click करिए, channel को subscribe करिए और मैं मिलती हूँ आपको with another exciting video till next time. You look after yourself. Tata bye bye Allah Hafiz